A number of you with aphantasia asked about memory palaces and how my father manages to remember so much of the Bible. And so I asked him, and he responded in third person. Not being able to see images in his head, my father does have the ability to recall sequences. So he started with one Bible verse, then every day repeating it and perhaps adding another. He needed to repeat the entire sequence each day. It eventually got up to about two hours a day. It was a type of meditation for him. He did that for about 20 years, then moved on to other weird ways to spend his time. So yeah, my father's a funny cat, and he uses sequences, just like we do for the alphabet or for songs. And I've noticed that uh, being true for me, especially as I get started on my memory palace. I started adding the Tree of Life and the Ten uh, Sephira uh, to, as the last ten statues in my memory palace. And in the beginning, I very much have to go in sequential order to keep them straight, as I try to visualize them and build them up. But... For the first 10 statues that I put in, I no longer have to do them in sequential order. I can go backwards. I can start anywhere. Um, and I am using a visual memory to do that. But I think just like with uh, when you get to really know the alphabet or a song or a piece of poetry, you can start at certain places and you can go backwards or forwards from it. Um, in the memory palace terminology, I think that's called the golden spike. Every five statues or every five things that you're memorizing um, is a spot where you make it extra bright and then that's a spot that you can always start from and it makes it easier to find stuff that's in the middle of your memory palace or your sequential memory uh, path and so if anyone else has any ideas for how uh, they worked with their aphantasia and and worked with memory, I would uh, love to hear it because I know that would help my dad and my one of my best friends as well who has this. Um, and I'm just curious about memory stuff. So whatever you've done with memory, uh, I'd like to hear it and hopefully we can share and learn from each other.